Hi, and welcome to Techno Babylon, an adventure game brought to you by Why Jedi Games and Technocrat. Now, this is a remake from the original Techno Babylon, which was made in AGS, commonly known as Adventure Game Studio, which is a beautiful, beautiful platform to make all sorts of crazy, beautiful adventure games. If you want to play the original, which has been in split into four parts, I'll, I'll link to the description, but. Oh, this is going to be a masterpiece. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm really excited. Let's start the game. Place. You're sure this is the one? I'm positive. Lampa Sesame goes by Mandala in the trance. There's a big gap in the records, and it's shaped exactly like her. I thought you said he put a lot of effort into it. They've been hiding her activity, but weren't covering up their own work very well. If they did, then I... Ah! How are the headaches? Won't be a problem for much longer. You understand the plan? I know exactly what I'm doing. After all, I've been planning this for years. There's nothing like being in trance. A world built of abstracts and intellect, of tangible thought, where every part has been crafted by an individual soul. It's the purest form of contact a person can have, mind to mind. It's the pinnacle of human achievement. Some might say that achievement in the physical world is somehow more meaningful. To them I say, join the future or be surpassed by it. Within the trance, we are millions of minds as one. But even as far as we've come, there's still one serious flaw. It's reliance on the real world as its backbone. And disconnections. Damn. Don't panic. I'll just go and speak to the building manager. It's not like there's anything to be afraid about there. Let's get this over with. Let's get this started with. So this is Mandala. It's uh, basically your avatar in this intranet-like space. Which reminds me a lot of Link space from beneath the steel sky. Oh, this is so beautiful. The artwork is just amazing, as usual. So the trance is like the internet, but more... More virtual and more involved and... Probably you kind of forget to feed yourself in the real world. Mailbox. City of New Newton. 2087. What does, uh, he say? This message is to remind you that you have not been attending your scheduled employment meetings. Well, when you have the internet slash trans. We don't really feel like working, do you? If you do not inform us of absences, you risk losing housing support from the city. You've been receiving support for 711 days. We hope that you will be able to improve your circumstances. I'll try. My name is Marcus Marcus Oshia. I'm the chief financier for the Oklahoma blah blah blah, and his recent death at the hands of a rival warlord has left me with 150,000 quanta. Oh my, that's a lot of money. I should probably send him my bank details so I can definitely receive that money. Seems like we haven't seen you in years. No idea if you heard, but there's a big game coming up at Rotunda. If you're up for leaving your apartment, we can probably get you a place on the team. XOXOT. Yodala. Good hearing from you. Though I know it really means that you want something. Basically, yes. The batch of blue wetware you got is cracked. So you can grow it yourself, just don't grey goo your place. It needs a few things. Water, since that makes up 99% of it. Nutrition, it's an organism after all. Heat. In the normal stuff, it's it caused it to break down, but this blend is activated instead. From what I've understood, I played the original 
quite a few years ago, and I, I don't remember much of it. I think I only played the first part. Wetware, I think it's a sort of organic t t but technological lubricant thing that can interact with technological interfaces. Thank you, Mr. Carr from outside. You ruined it. So, I don't know exactly how it works. Composing- Ooh, I can compose messages. I can't compose messages because the trance is uh, off. Okay, so we can't do anything. How do I close this? Okay. News. Enable to access Chishki server. Please check your network. Hey! The Ooh, if they make the Epiphany the movie, I would be so happy. That's a nice little easter egg right there. But I can't do much in the trance because something has gone offline in the real world. So let's disconnect. Better go and talk to the building manager. Ah! Ouch! Huh? Password error? Huh? I guess the door's broken too. Contact manager. I'm trapped? For the first time that you can remember, the prospect of staying inside your apartment is frightening to you. I know, the world is a scary place, but once you're trapped in your apartment, your apartment is a scary place. Ooh, I'm gonna explore everything. Ooh. So this is where we reconnect to the trance, but we don't have a connection yet. It's full of blue overalls, the kind provided by the city to the unemployed, made out of a cotton paper blend. They are mulched, recycled into new clothing rather than cleaned. That doesn't not, really doesn't sound appealing. Ooh, lockers. Nothing in here. What about the middle one? I usually keep clothes in here. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. That's a neat idea, getting clothes printed. Nothing in here. They're probably not a high quality, though. If I keep randomly cutting cables, I'm going to end up electrocuted eventually. So, stop. Still not working. Apparently I can't just wait for the problem to fix itself. Can't rely on anyone else. Now, um, I get the feeling that someone is locking us on purpose in our apartment because there was a blonde dude talking about us and he didn't particularly seem like a nice the guy. The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system, and thermostat, as well as the door's locking. If you could get inside it, you might be able to set off an emergency unlock. So that's what we have to do. We have to break open this thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we have anything that would resemble, you know, a crowbar or anything. What is that food? Ew. That doesn't look very appealing. I'm not sure when I got this out of the machine. It's still soggy, though. Ew. Mm, nah. I'm not that hungry. Doesn't look appealing. Trophy. The Net Games trophy I won in 84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. I can pick it up though. Ah, there we go. The Net Games trophy- I don't know- What's in here? The shower curtain glows an eerie yet somehow soothing blue. Your project must have finished its final sta stages. That must be the wetware that we're bu building and growing ourselves. It may take up the entire bathroom, but the still is totally worth it. By growing my own wetware at home, I'll never need to leave the apartment again, unless something like this happens. Sounds awesome. You remove the gelatinous clump of semi-organic wetware you've been cultivating in the still. It looks like it's grown enough to be usable by now. Okay, what does it look like? A clump of jelly. Okay. Recycler. The gaping black chute dominating the food machine's top half is where use, trace, and cutler cutlerly I can't say cut cutlery are deposited for recycling. 
Materials are melted down and vacuum formed into new utensils every time you order a meal. But this, oh, this recycling world, it might be good for the environment, but it sounds kind of gross. Some places use metal utensils, but down here in the poor blocks, it's all just plastic. Can I get some thing? Reach your arm. Oh, reaching your arm into the recycling slot can only end in tears because this is probably going to shred your arm. So let's not do that. Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skanto apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. The window frame is welded in. Even if I could open it, it'd be a 150 meter drop to the bottom. Okay, food machine. The apartment's food machine, which pipes your infrequent meal straight into your home in semi-solid form. Your machine's been broken for a while, but you haven't noticed. You've been too busy trancing. It sounds like uh, something you can get addicted to. Like the internet. Oh, protein surprise. Oh, that's my favorite. 2168 nutrient complex, sucrogelatin complex. Okay, utensil recycling. What does that do? User safety settings enabled. Unable to produce metal utensils due to danger of harm. But I want metal. Hey, we're not children. Yeah. How's the suicide rate? Oh dear. What's this? Memory module for whatever external data the auto meal uses. Can I get it? It won't come out. Must be locked into place. Well, let's push it out. There we go. And now we have no menu. No recipe data. Now, as far as I understood it, because I kinda... Well, I opened the game just to see how it worked. Um, I think you can stick this in any sort of technological slot. Including the food machine. Connection complete. You feel a flow of new data as your wetware inva inveigles itself into the food machine's systems. Okay. What do I do with it now? Can I mix these two? It isn't compatible with the memory module. Okay. Maybe I can trance, now that I have the data. It takes some getting used to. Hey, Mandala. Oh no. Hi, I'm Sheffy, your interactive guide to THB Foods Auto Meal Sweets. Oh dear. You're too adorable. Who are you, and what are you doing in my food machine? Hi, I'm Sheffy, you're- We already had this bit. I'm the voice of your food machine. I'm here to help you make the most of your machine and all the delicious possibilities. And if there's trouble, I'm here to help you out. I don't really need a, a voice for my food machine, thanks. Uh, what can you make? What kind of things can you make? Using THB's patented and proven protein fiber synthesis reserve system, I'm able to whip up some of the tastiest treats you've ever had. Like? Just you wait. Before you know it, you'll be having the most cost-effective food you've ever tasted. You're dodging the question. My recipe books are always getting bigger. My best friends at THB always come up with great new ideas. Everything from protein surprise to Nutrient blood casserole! Ugh. Don't be like that! Give them a try! It doesn't sound particularly appealing. Cheffy. I've had to live off your crap for two years now. It's bland, and it feels like runny puke. I have trouble swallowing, and every mouthful makes starvation that little bit more appealing. I'm sorry to hear that! Have you tried any of our new recipes recently? Let's look for some! Oopsie! It looks like I can't connect! Don't worry, you can always use the memory cards in the machine to upload delicious new recipes! What about the trays and the forks? Why can't I put metal in the recyclers? What's in your recipe card now? Well, I kind of took it away, but I wonder if I can order some food. What's on your recipe card now? On the menu today, we've got... Uh-oh! Looks like the memory card's been taken out of the machine! I'm so sorry! I can't cope without my recipes! Some master chef you are. If you can find some new recipes on a memory module, I'd be happy to have a go with them for you! I look a sir! 
Okay. What's on your wrist? Oh, um, oops. Why can't I put metal in the recycler? It might be dangerous! At the request of Newton Civic Housing Services. You've been limited to plastic utensils. But isn't plastic great? It's so easy to get clean. But what if I want something stronger, like steel? That heavy protein mash bends the fork sometimes. Sorry, uh -uh, no can do. I'm not just a chef. It's my job to keep you safe. Oh yeah, plastic is fantastic and all that. G give me the metal. How do I get trays and cutlery? Haven't you been eating with us for years? Humor me. The HE's food machines have self-contained vacuum formers to recycle utensils. Just put your tray back in the machine when you're done with it. How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork. Why would you want to do that? Don't you like me? I just want to make sure you're eating right. So, you object to me smashing you open? It takes some pretty serious damage to do that. I'm tough. Only qualified D -H -A systems technicians can get me open. Looks like messing with your software is my best bet then. So, I guess that's a hint. I have to mess with your system. You annoy me. <laughs> Will the machine work without you? Will the machine work without you? I had an accident. The machine will continue to dispense. We don't want you starving in an emergency now, do we? No. No. Oh, I would never want to get rid of you, Chefy. You're really, really annoying. You know that? Address all concerns regarding T H E Avatar to A six two Chefy to T H E Customer Interactive Regions. Hey, can you stop the T H E stuff? Is really, really annoying. Ciao. Take new data any other way? If you want to use a new recipe, just load it into your THE. Sounds simple. Idiot proof meals. That's our motto. I. Hey. Bye now. So now Sheffy insulted me too. Oh, Sheffy, you're gonna get it. Did I get any mails? Mmm, <laughs> no. Back to the real world. So, what can I do with you? Maybe I. I'm gonna stick back the memory card in a little bit, but I want to see if I can stick this in here. Aha! The apartment's centralized system speaks to you more clearly than ever, as your wetware joins with its systems. Lovely. Let's go back to Trancy. Trancy, Trancy. Another icon. Aww, forsooth. Summon the guardian of thine abode. Of course you would speak like this. Hello, Mr. Knight. Who are you? I am the defender, the guardian, the knight. No threat shall dare intrude upon thy domain while I stand watch. Do you have a name? I do not wish to trouble my lady with such minute details. So just knight then. Whatever thy will, my lady. What do you do? What's your function? I am the defender. I prevent intrusions upon thy fortress. The physical and the etheric. I found you in the door's terminal software. You're the apartment's network security, aren't you? Quite so. Trojans and malware flee from my presence. But you also control the door's security. A vital role, milady. None shall threaten the sanctity of your domain. Hey, so, um, can you open it? The door seems to be stuck. Can you do anything about that? Attempting to operate door drive systems. Attempt two. Attempt three. It would appear the machinery of the door itself has become fatigued. The terminus is unable to compel activity on the door's part itself. The safety unlock would doubtless serve you well at this juncture. Can you use the safety unlock? I'm afraid I cannot. It must be unlatched physically. So where is it? It lies behind the terminal. With sufficient armament, mayhaps thou shall reach it. Gee, thanks. Th thou shall have to try, then. What's with the knight in shining armor routine? Who is better suited to the role than a loyal defender of the realm? Okay, now tell me properly. My lady, thine own... Out of character. 
Following managerial reformation of sex <laughs> the company's being shifted to a feudal design. Feudal design. Okay, fair enough. I don't find him irritating. He's just doing his job really well. So he's the antivirus of, of the internet and of the physical world. Tell me about yourself. Sentinel Systems Nightwear. A data and physical Nightwear. security product of Sentinel Systems version 3.02. Licensed to City of Newton Housing Services. Okay, I don't find you irritating. Ciao. Fare thee well, my lady. Fare thee well, Sir Knight. So what do I do with you? I get the feeling that I have to... Um, pretty much destroy Sheffy. And, um... I'm quite happy to do it, really. A food tray obligingly pops from the machine serving slot. Completely empty. The pipes must be blocked again. Hey, I'm hungry. Okay. So I didn't get any food, but I got some plastic utensils. That's great. Those are gonna taste delicious. Yo, Sheffy, I ain't happy about this. On your recipe card. On the menu today, we've got protein complex A11, protein complex E168, and for dessert, mm, sucrose gelatin complex C11. Sounds delicious. If you want something a little different, don't forget, you can always download new recipes for me to take a look at. Mmm, sounds great. But I can't do anything to you. There must be something I'm missing. Ciao. Bye! It's a homegrown lump of techno-organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. Oh, so that's what it does. Of course. We're in the Matrix. You know, this trophy is made out of metal. Why can't I just bash it with this? The trophy won't help you get inside the panel. Oh, I bet to differ. I think with a little bit of force, it would be quite easy. Hmm. There's nothing I can do in the apartment that I can see to affect Sheffy, our favorite character. But there's something we can do in here. Not the news, because we're not connected. But the mail. What did I get? Um, This was the money. And this, ex pharma. Do you want the extra interface, Speedo? Without the extra cost? Extra speed with extra farm. Open attachment image for order info. Oh, this seems totally legit. I want the extra farm with order stuff. Oops. That probably wasn't the best thing to download. Malware! A badly disguised virus package. Designed to trick the gullible into opening it. It might steal info, force you into a botnet, or just wreck systems for the hell of it. Normally, you wouldn't even have come close to downloading it. Yeah, no normal person would. Huh, no. I'm not storing that in my brain. Not unless I want to wake up in some factory in China in 10 years. Ooh, factory in China. Do they, like, kidnap you or something? But I want to use this on Sheffy. Hmm, how do I do that? Aha! So I got the malware. Oh, oh. And it's turned it into a beautiful stripey um, a mango color hi there hi hey you want this oh, i'm sorry i'm afraid i can only receive updates from th in Boots home server yeah okay okay you put the memory block in the food machine and you shake it all up oh <laughs> that is uh pretty badly damaged I kind of feel bad for what I'm gonna do to Sheffy. Sheffy, you're interactive! Why can't I put metal? Well, because they don't let me. Uh, what's in your recipe card? I am feeling kind of peckish. What's on your recipe card now? I see there's some new recipe data! Yep. It looks like... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, whatever virus was writing that T-mail is doing some damage. You don't look so good. It's 
nothing but to put the beat work of mouth. Sounds more like you need someone to put you out of your misery. I don't much like your food. I don't like your food. I don't like your face. <laughs> oh, we're getting personal now. How do I shut you off? How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork. Oh yeah? How about I stop you stopping me stopping you? Then I guess I'd have to stop you stopping me stopping you stopping me? <laughs> She's gotten sassy. Oh, poor Sheffy. I'm sorry I did this to you. Well, to be fair, you were giving me crap food. And recently, you didn't g give me any food. You don't, you don't look good. You don't look so good. I like to eat that. That's nice. What about your... I'm the chef! Okay. Yes. I'm the chef! Oh. <laughs> I'm the chef! Ciao. Peterson. <laughs> oh, Sheffy. You're okay in my book now. I think the malware suits you. But um, yeah, it's time for you to die. Forsooth, who would summon the guardian of thine abode? Um me. I think Sheffy the chef's come down with something. The steward harbors a blight? Zounds! This shall not be allowed to continue! Foul Harbinger! I am not- There are grave accusations of treason upon your head, steward! Stand and face me! We shall see what trial by combat makes of you! I'm sorry, I am crazy! Have at thee! Headshot. Well, that takes care of her. I hope the knight dude is okay. He seemed to disappear, and I don't want him to disappear because he's awesome. Okay. I'm still facing the problem of not being able to recycle metal so I can get a damn fork. Or something. Plastic metal. Now it lets me switch, because she is gone. So I'm just going to recycle everything, because I'm a nice person. The still is empty. And what a clever system. It basically vacuum prints a new set of utensils every time. That's... that's the future. Okay. And now I'm just going to recycle this. Now I pretty much have to order one of this one of these delicious meals. After a few moments of mechanical protest, the machine eventually gives in. Metal tray and metal fork. Lovely. A metal tray. Finally. Yeah. A sharp metal eating tool. Better be careful with it. It's a fork. Oh, I don't get it. But I think we can finally use it here, and get the fuck out of here. Got it. We are so good. Whoa. My apartment exploded. He wanted to kill me. Twenty hours earlier. This is it. Animus Organics. You think Central's right on this one? I still don't think an AI, however powerful, could predict a crime like this. However, if it does help us catch the Mindjacker... Central hasn't exactly been generous with the details. I don't really think we're gonna find anything here. There are other, stronger leads we ought to be chasing. Interesting. Now, what was it? Was it a game or was it a movie that had like this AI overmind that could just predict crime before it happened? You need to remind this. The people that know, please remind me if there was a, if it was a movie. I think it was a movie. It sounds the concept of it is just very familiar to me. So who am I playing as? The dude. Hey, Lau. Hey. Yeah. 
Mindjacker. I've lost count of the number of times the Mindjackers struck. In Newton or globally? Oh, just a figure of speech. He's been on the rampage for too long, but now he's in our territory. Should give us the advantage. So, um, we're tracking this m mind jacker criminal. Oh, there's there's more. At least we've managed to link the previous mind jackings to one suspect. It's the M.O. Historically, mind jackers have used some kind of external gear. They use another system to extract before storing it in their own neural tissue. So they'd need a terminal. Which is usually how we catch them. It's conspicuous. But are mind jackers not behaving the same way? No. His tools appear to be built into his own bodily wetware system. Some kind of resonance imager in his body, maybe. Whatever it is, it's less invasive as well. Exactly. His victims suffer massive hemorrhages, but no external injuries. State of the art, but a dead giveaway. That sounds really cool. Do we have any ideas about our perp? The fact that he's stealing data straight from living neural wiring is disturbing, but it tells us a couple of important things. Oh? Well, previously caught mindjackers have usually burnt out after one or two attacks. Sharing a whole other's brain worth of data is pretty taxing. So we're looking for someone with a really specialized wetware set up in their heads. Pity that won't tell us what they look like. The other problem is how slippery this guy is. Only fragments of appearances on camera, no clear witnesses. Which means he's either a master of disguise... Or there's some pretty high up collusion to hide him. That wouldn't surprise me if he were a business hire. Still... After this many hits, he may start to slip. Even if it's just his psyche breaking. That's quite fascinating. So a person can literally go into your brain and pick the data. That's quite fascinating. And he can tell your brain to pretty much kill you. Like, cause a stroke or something. So, Central predicted our mindjacker was going to strike here. You don't trust it? I just don't understand how it came to that conclusion. Obviously, we're doing our jobs right. We collect data, which Central interprets. Based on that data, it maps a pattern. But why isn't it a pattern that we could see? It's not only us. Central's got all of the city, the whole net to draw on. But it won't tell us how it's come to the conclusion where the Mindjacker will strike. Does it think we can't understand? Is it concealing something? Just be glad we've got an advantage like Central. I still don't like it. I still don't like it, old-timey cop. Animus Organics. That's what the sign says. They're one of the city's largest computational biotech firms. What do they make? Wetware, mostly. Wouldn't be grown here, probably in Eurofed. This place is just the offices? Regional headquarters, Central tells me. Do we know why it predicts the next attack will take place here? It won't share that with us. Need to know. A high-tech firm like this must have secrets worth something to a mindjacker. Wetware, huh? Yeah. Specifically for forming neural connections between systems. The blue stuff. The nanomachines keeping the modern world running. It's funny. When I think nanomachine, I picture tiny gears and turbines. When really, they're just bits of proteins and macromolecules. They still perform all kinds of mechanical tasks. Just smaller. I guess I'm technically more of an expert in them than you are. I used to make them for a living. Yeah, but you wouldn't know what to do with them anymore. Organic computing. That's my field. Organic computing. Now that's a future I wish I could be a part of, but it's probably gonna happen in like a few hundred years, and I'll be dead. Maybe. You don't like that Central's predicted this, do you? It's not how investigations are supposed to be done. Admit it. You're afraid your job's going to be stolen by machines. Kind of like weavers, factory workers, authors. Just how old do authors? you think I am? No, don't answer that. I just don't like having that key bit of information kept from me. You need to learn to work with Central. It's not our enemy. It works for us, as we work for it. Let me know if you find anything. we Will do, Regis. Let me get this straight, though. So you have nanotechnology and organic computing, and you haven't figured out a way to reduce aging or maybe even conquer immortality? I mean, you could surely program the nanobots to rebuild tissue and organs and everything that is lost with aging. Come on, future. You can do better than this. But let's uh, let's carry on. Ooh, let's carry on with the game. Traveler and Jolt Gun. The cell issue traveler, like the civilian models, in many ways capable of making calls and running apps. So it's a phone. The specialized model carried by cell possesses more powerful sensors and encryption. The traveler's sonograph is picking up very little ambient activity in the f building. I don't know what what these do. 
It's okay. Okay. This is my, uh, my cell phone. Class 4 information larceny with composite harm to health of individual targets, i.e. mind jacking. Okay. Beginning in March 2087, a string of data theft attacks have been carried out within Mutant. Using a process of resonant modulation with subject's neural wetware, the data contents of individual victims' brains are being destructively removed with fatal consequences to targets. No identity, subject appears exceptionally skilled at infiltration, and may have inside help from larger sponsor. Oh, 18 victims only in the city. Jesus. And we've been assigned to find him. Lovely. I can call my partner, I can call the Overmind Central. What do they have to say? This is Regis. Come in, Central. Central standing by. Status report, Central. All operations within set anti-civil activity index within tolerance at point zero zero four. Weather forecast, dry. Highs of 12 Celsius. UV index of 8. Uh, less general. Updates on the case? Uh, new data, Dr. Regis. Okay, thanks. You don't usually make predictions on high-level cases like this, Central. What's different about this one? Limited progress was being made through conventional investigation. To expedite the investigation, I was tasked to provide more direct oversight. Hey, are you saying we can't do our jobs right by ourselves? I am a civic coordination AI, Dr. Regis, with a responsibility for 9.4 million inhabitants. Slander of colleagues will produce no gains for the city. Oh, yeah. A fact which, on occasion, I would hope you would pay more attention to. But you can pretty much predict the future, if you want. So why don't you do that from now on and humanity can get on with whatever everyone wants to do? What made you think the Mindjacker was going to strike here? The professionalism of the attack suggests that these are not merely random targets. Though the reasoning behind the attacks remains vague, patterns form from previous incidents. The probability of tonight's attack was sufficient that it warranted investigation. Obviously, you're using data gathered by myself and Dr. Lau. But since we haven't found a pattern in our work, I guess that you've got more sources than us. Correct. However, that information remains classified. Huh. What a surprise. You remain skeptical, Dr. Regis? It's not how I think of detective work, Central. I don't believe human behavior is something you can just... map. Two centuries of research in probabilistic sociology would disagree. We'll see. I don't know. Humanity can be quite surprising. What's your take on the case, Central? An individual of unknown origin is prosecuting a global series of attacks. These involve the removal of data from the minds of victims. Invariably, the speed of the process has had a deleterious and fatal effect. Yes, those are the facts. But what's your opinion on the matter? All we have are facts, Dr. Regis. These must be analyzed in order to apprehend those responsible. And that is why AIs would make lousy detectives. Cell retains an investigative corps of specialists such as yourself, Dr. Regis. Your role is in no danger, you can be assured. I never said I thought it was. <laughs> Though you may not be neurally linked, and I am unable to directly access your mental activity, a lot can be learned about an individual's thoughts by observation. You know too much, Central. What do we know about Animus Organics? Biotech firm, manufacturer of computational wetware and other biomechanical products. First publicly traded stock in August 2044, currently sitting board members include... Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. Why do we think the Mindjacker is going to strike here? The projection has been based upon previous targets. Using a Markov German distribution map, outlying variables can be... Statistics aren't really my thing, Central. You would have been unsatisfied with... It's beyond your comprehension. I guess you're right. Regis out. Regis out. Central, I don't particularly like you. What else can I do? I don't need the case file. Do I have a news? I have a news. Continuing, Eurofed adopts metric time. Okay. I wonder how the news section is going to be relevant. Maybe I should pay attention to it. Maybe. Open laser paper stone. Is that a game? <laughs> like rock, paper, scissors. Oh, dear. 
Okay, okay. I'm going to choose rock. Draw. Uh, rock again. Okay. So, laser doesn't destroy a rock. I'm going to choose paper now. Oh, and you have limited uses of these. Hey, that's clever. I'm going to start losing now. Well, I pretty much can't can't lose now. Take that, AI. Uh-oh. Looks like you've run out of rocks, lasers, and paper. You must wait a thousand seconds before you can continue. Or if you want to play straight away, you can just go to... Uh, of course. Yeah, this is Candy Crush all over again. Guide. I don't need no guide. This is a pretty simple game. Okay, let's go in. We've d dilly daddled enough. Hey! Service! Animus must be one of those places that doesn't keep staff working nights. Very strange. Okay, so I just go in? What do I do? Use the elevator? The elevator's locked. Panel says authorized personnel only. I guess we need to find someone who counts as authorized, then. Well, I'm kind of the police, so... I kind of want to go in and I have the right to do so. The company's front desk. In a big firm like this, you'd expect it to be manned 24-7, but the staff has disappeared. Alright. Can I do anything with it? Can I shoot it? A big old jolt's not gonna make it work. Can I shoot this? What the hell? 